Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to another video. Today, we've got kind of an interesting project going on. This is a Hodaka Ace 100 that I just picked up for 400 bucks. Uh, it needs a lot of work done to it, as you can see. Um, Exhaust is so crusty, man. I mean, on this tank. It's like all rusted out. I know you can't see it that well on camera, but but yeah, that tank definitely needs work. Um, exhaust needs to be, well, you know, uncrusted, if you will. Engine is in crap condition. It's all pretty bad. But you know what? This would be a really, really fun bike if I can get it going. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Uh, so I'm going to start off with this and I'm going to uh, I'm going to be de-rusting the inside of this tank. Um, So, yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna be cleaning out this carb. Um, I gotta wire everything up. I probably gotta clean the points. Because uh, this thing doesn't use CDI, it uses points like most other bikes did. And, uh, yeah, we'll see if I can get it running. I'm gonna do the tank. And then I can move on to cleaning out the carb, testing the spark, etc. Alright guys, so to take the tank off, I gotta take off this bolt right here. And I gotta take off this bolt right here. Alright, got the bolt out. Now I'm just gonna put everything back on so that I don't... I don't lose anything, or forget where anything goes. Oh, these two front ones. This one looks to be tight, so I'm gonna have to get uh, probably an eight mil for that. Apparently I also gotta take off the seat, so it's this bolt and then there's another one on the other side, and they're both 10 mil. All right guys, so I'm gonna do, I got the tank off and the seat off, the seat off, and I'm gonna do the tank in a different video. Um, for now, let's just get this carb off and get it cleaned. All right guys, so now I gotta uh, take off this carb so I can clean it out, cause it looks pretty bad in there. So I'm gonna take off these two bolts. All right, so now got the carb off the bike. Let's take the bowl off. Oh, look at that garbage that just came out of there. Holy cow. Yeah, that's going to need to be blown out for sure. Alright, so before we blow out the jets, let's remove them. Uh, main jet needs a 6 mil. 6 mil uh, socket. And then the pilot down in here just needs a little flathead.
There it goes. That's a tiny little jet. Alright, so... All right, guys, so as you can see, I got the trusty old carburetor back on. Um, so, yeah, um, cleaned it out, and then I just put the cap on. Um, so, hopefully, this thing will start once the tank is done, you know, fixing itself basically, um, unrusting, um, yeah, uh, this thing needs new tires, and the wheels look alright, but, um, the guy I bought this from said he's got new tires and rims and stuff that I can use, which is great, um, but, you know, these will these will last on the road. Probably won't last much longer, but. <laughs> All right guys, so as you can see, throttle sticks really, really bad. Like it has no interest in going back whatsoever. And I don't think it's the actual um, throttle tube. I'm pretty sure that cause I just unscrewed that and it slides around pretty nice on the handlebars. Uh, I believe that it is the throttle cable so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take this cap off off of the carb and I don't think it's the carb slide either because like oh yeah it's because like the spring is working really well and the slide itself is like just buttery smooth oh yeah that is so smooth in there like that is unbelievably smooth, honestly. Um, so yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take off this, um, this nut right here for the uh, throttle line. And then I'm gonna remove it from the slide and I'm going to just spray some WD-40 down there and hopefully that fixes my sticky throttle problem. All right, so let's take off the uh, throttle cable. Oh wow. That one's really loose. Probably didn't even need pliers. Alright. And then I'm just gonna Push that guy through and uh, gonna, just gotta grab it. Man, this the way this thing works is pretty weird. There we go. So now, just pop the slide back into the bike real quick so that it doesn't get all nasty. And, uh, definitely. 
definitely don't want to lose that. Line doesn't seem frayed or anything, which is good. So now I'm just gonna try and get some WD-40 in there, so. All right, so. Best way to do this, probably just spray it in there. that works all right so I've got the line all freaking soaked in WD-40 and I'm I mean like way too much WD-40 way too much but uh yeah I got got the WD-40 in I sprayed it from both sides just to you know make sure that it was getting in there, so I sprayed it from the throttle side as well as the um, as the intake side. So let's just screw this guy back on. All right, got the spring off. So. get this guy in there. on there no dirt or anything looks like it's just wd-40 so that's fine all right let's prop her back in Good to go. Alright, so now for the moment of truth. Let's see if that actually actually did anything. Oh yeah, let's go. Pops right back now. So yeah, that. So yeah, that's an easy throttle fix. That's that's all good. So yeah. I'm going to have to put the kickstart on, which is more of a pain than you think it, you might think it would be, uh, because these <laughs> kickstarters, you, uh, have to get this hole lined up with that pin, so, yeah, this is gonna be fun. Alright guys, so I'm having electrical issues. It won't get spark, but it is shocking me. So I believe that the points need cleaning and this gap is probably jacked up and the points gap is probably jacked up. And it's just not getting enough power to ignite this. So So yeah, now I'm going to I'm going to get the plug real quick and uh, see how far it is from stock spec. All right guys, so spark plug gap is right at 27 and that's max gap. So I'm gonna 
gonna squish it down a little bit um, and get it down to 26. All right, so now it's kind of like 25 and a half. So yeah, that's uh, that's that's pretty good. All right, guys. So I just tested the spark again after gapping the plug. Still isn't sparking at all. Uh, no spark whatsoever. So I'm going to adjust the points in a different video, and then once I'm done with that, um, we'll check the spark. All right, guys, getting the spark now. Adjusted the points, so I'll show you guys how to do that in a different video, but uh, yeah, let's uh, pop that spark plug back in, and uh, we'll see if the We'll see if the bike will start. All right, guys, put a little bit of fuel in the carb. This is, this is, um, this is hopefully gonna be first time the bike runs. All right. Kickstart shaft is shot. So bad I can't even crank the bike over anymore. So I'm going to have to replace that. <sighs> that sucks. Alright guys, so that's pretty much going to wrap things up for this video. I'm going to make another video on this. Um, but I got to get that new kickstart shaft first, which really sucks. Really really wish that wasn't the case but yeah guys thank you so much for watching hope you guys enjoyed please consider subscribing and i'll see you guys on the next one where hopefully we'll be able to get this thing running